Hello guys, and in this video, we'll be learning how to deploy an Angular application inside a Docker container using a Docker Compose or ML file. In the previous video, we saw how to do it, but we were not using Docker Compose, we were using CLI for it. CLI, CLI tool doesn't come in handy when we have too many applications and we want to maintain each one uh, running, running each application. So it becomes a very tedious task to do so. Docker Compose YML file allows us to run multiple different uh, apps by just using one command. Okay, so let's do it. So in the previous video, I had created this Docker file. If you have not watched it, please do watch the previous video. I will be giving the link in the description. So this is the Docker file which I have created. And I have moved that folder, entire folder inside is Docker series folder for this angular project okay so now i'll be creating a docker compose yml file dot yml okay so let's start with it so first thing we'll be doing is specifying the version this is the version of the yml file which we'll be using it's not the Do docker version then next step is services For now we have just one service which is angular so I'll name it angular service. You can name it with whatever you like. Uh, then we need to specify the container name. If you don't specify this container name, it will be chosen at random. Okay, so I'll specify it as angular service. Container. Then you next need to specify the build path that is the path of the docker file. Our docker file resides inside angular folder so we'll specify that file. The next is volumes. I have explained what is volumes in the previous video so you can go have a look at it. So volumes here is a list of paths so I'll be only putting one path over here which is dot slash I'll be moving a full angular folder inside user slash src slash app folder inside the container docker container the next property you have to specify is ports when ports is a uh, it's an array list of ports I'll be specifying 4500 500 4500 because in docker file as you can see here i specified 4500 inside container to our application will be running on 4500 so that's why i specified here 4500 okay now there are two methods to run this application one is uh, i can if you can see the terminal here docker Compose build and you give the service name. Our service name is Angular Service. It will take some time. Now, what it's doing is it's creating the executable file for our Angular application. And the next step will be to run this application. Almost there.
a place where our docker image is built successfully next thing you have to do is let me just check that next thing you have to do is docker compose done and again the service name now angular application has started to build After it builds successfully, it will be running. It will be running on this URL, local host 4500. Once you open it, you will be able to see the application running. So here it is already up. Let me open a new window Local host 4500. Okay, uh, let me check that later. Okay, I'll just explain the other way to run this application. Let me stop this. And the other way is by directly using Docker Compose up. this actually will run all the services suppose if you had another service here down below say mysql or php or some other application it will run those also all together in the previous example it was specific we were running specific angular service but in here it will run all the application currently we have only one so it will run only one Okay, it has compiled and it is running on 4500. Okay, as you can see, it is running. I check what is the problem with the first method, but it should have worked. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching till the end. If you have any questions and if this has helped you, please give a like and please do give suggestions and feedbacks. Thank you very much.